The Vosturians are that really cool looking Astra Militarum regiment that has rules, artwork, photos and background fluff in the codex, but no miniatures readily available outside of Lucky Finds on eBay, and even then you have to deal with the monoposed metal miniatures with overinflated prices. Hardly the best combination for an army known for its ranks of massed infantry. Luckily for us, the third party market saves us once again and gives us a plastic alternative to these classic minis, and in this video I'll be showing you how to build the Vostrians that you see here. The bread and butter of this kit bash is this kit here, the Le Grognards from War Games Atlantic, a company you may be familiar with if you've seen my Armageddon Steel Legion video already. This kit is a multi-part plastic kit that contains 24 miniatures sculpted by Bob Naismith, who some of you may recognise as being the guy behind many of the earlier Games Workshop miniatures, and therefore a lot of the style that's continued until this day. So the kit is called Le Grognards, aka the Grumblers, and is from Wargames Atlantic's Deathfields range. Now you can see from just the box itself that the miniatures already have a Vostrian vibe straight away. The miniatures are essentially historical French soldiers that have been plucked from history, and so have a mixture of 19th and early 20th century French military components, with some sci-fi aesthetics mixed in too. The kit has a lot of options for various heads and weapons, but the components we're most interested in here are the greatcoats and the bearskins. Once you've got them assembled with the weapons that came with the set, you'll be left with something that looks like this. On its own, it's a pretty close approximation to a Vostrian already. This means you could use these guys as cheaper alternatives for your Imperial Guard forces exactly as they are. However, if you want to retain that Imperial aesthetic and also get around some tournaments rulings, then luckily this kit is fully compatible with GW components due to it having the same 28mm heroic scale. So let's dip into the bits box and build some Vostroans. I began with the Le Grognard's body, backpack and bearskin heads, of which we have regular and gas mask versions of two, and clipped away the water bottle at the back of the torso before smoothing it out again. This clears the way for adding components from the Cadian kit later on. For the weapons, I'm reaching for the Skatari kit. This gives us a wealth of parts that fulfill the ornate Mastercrafted styling that Vostrian weapons have. The odd bionic parts here and there also fit nicely with the Vostrian's background and their close ties to the Adeptus Mechanicus. So, all you need to do here is to assemble your weapons. Both the Rad Carbine and Galvanic Rifles work really well here, and which ones you choose is really up to you. And you should find yourself able to glue these to the torso with no additional cutting or filing, making this conversion exceptionally easy. To add a little extra Imperial flair to the model, using the equipment pouches found in the Cadian or other Imperial Guard kits works well here, and they can be placed over the area that we removed the water bottle from earlier. Just add the head and a base, and you're left with a really close approximation to a Vostrian, but rendered in wonderful, wonderful plastic. Now, it's not just your regular rank and file that this kit can be used for either. By using parts from the Tempestus Science Kit, we can create some elite Vostrians that allow us to use those Tempestus elements in your army whilst maintaining that Vostrian aesthetic. Like before, the arms and weapons can be taken straight from the Tempestus kit, but this time around, they may need a few little cuts made to the shoulder joints to allow for a better fit against the torso. For the power pack, we need to flatten out the back of the Grogonard to allow it to fit. You can do this with clippers, a file, or a knife, whatever you prefer. Just keep, making on, uh, keep on making a few small adjustments before testing out the fit against the back. Don't forget to make sure that the power cables match up as well. And once you're happy, you can glue everything into place. You can then finish off the model with a few extra pouches and equipment taken from the Tempestus kit as well. What you're left with is something that still fits nicely within that Vostrian style, but is quite clearly more elite than the models that were constructed using the Skatari components. However, I always do find that it's best to judge how effective your conversions look once they have a bit of paint on them. So let's just do that and take a look at the finished models. Once painted in the distinctive colours of the Vostrians, it's hard to mistake them for anything else, and you can really see just how helpful the Grognard's kit is for making these miniatures possible. Because they're so compatible with the Games Workshop's kits, you could easily use these as a basis for an entire army. Your command options can be taken from the Tempestus Science kit, and it wouldn't be too hard to construct heavy weapons teams using existing kits either. Additionally, there should be some heavy weapons variants of this Le Grognard's kit coming soon as well. Now, where you would fall down is if you wanted some crouching legs, as there aren't uh, there are only three variants of standing bodies in this kit, but hopefully that heavy weapons variant will allow us to address this. 
Now, but the, the real draw of this box set, though, is the cost. A box of 24 grognards is available for £25, and even if you decide to add in the equivalent number of Scutari arms from third-party bit sellers, you're still saving money when compared to £20 for just 10 Canadians. And that's not even factoring in the Vostrians that are not currently available to buy except from the second-hand market, where you'll find that prices are vastly inflated. Now, as I already mentioned, the source of this kit used here was the Grognards from Wargames Atlantic, and I'll include a link to them in the description below. If you have any suggestions of other regiments, legions, or chapters you would like to see me cover in these third-party kit bash videos, then do let me know in the description below. So before I go, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon. Your help with the costs of producing the videos really helps me to experiment more and try out new things like this tutorial. If you don't currently support me but would like to lend a hand too, I've included my Patreon page in the description below. Or if you just like to make a donation, I also have a PayPal link too. Alternatively, if you're looking to buy paints or any Warhammer related products, then you should check out the Firestorm games using my affiliates link in the description below. I do a lot of work for those guys over on their channel and you can pick up pretty much any Wargame related products on their site for a discounted price. Plus, if you follow that link that I've been putting in the description, then a little bit of money comes my way too, which I can directly place into producing more of these videos. So for anyone looking to chat about all things Wargaming with others who enjoy my channel, I've set up a Discord server which you can find a link to in the description along with everything else. And so the only thing left to say is, thanks for watching and goodbye.